A team of scientists led by Dr. Yeah. Navendra Kumar Singh of a National Research Center of Plant Biotechnology has successfully decoded the DNA structure of pigeon peas commonly known as arhar. This is a big step in the direction of increasing the production of arhar in the country. This is the first plant whose genome structure has been decoded by Indian scientists without any help from foreign scientists. Indian agricultural scientists have achieved a significant success in the direction of increasing pigeon pea or arhar's production. Important institutions are the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, Agriculture Universities and Banaras Hindu University has established a team led by Dr. Nagendra Kumar Singh, scientist of National Research Center of Plant Biotechnology. The team has succeeded in decoding arhar's genome. We have identified 47,000 genes and these genes perform different functions like um, the shape of the plant, the yield it will produce, disease resistance and the stress resistance against say, drought or flooding. So all the properties of the varieties are governed by these genes. Now having this uh, base information, now the breeding of variety work can be uh, speeded up. Uh, in a much faster rate than what was possible earlier. This can be considered as a major landmark because this is the first genome which has been sequenced uh, in any species. This is the first time that Indian research institutions have decoded the genome of a plant without any help from foreign institutions. For this, scientists chose a popular variety of Arhar Asha and its genome was decoded through a special technique of gene sequencing and 51 crore and 10 lakh base pairs were identified. The scientists have identified 47,004 protein coding genes in the Arhar's genome of which 1,213 genes are for disease resistance and 152 genes for tolerance to drought, heat and salinity. The whole RR genome is made of 850 million base pairs. To decode that 850 million base pairs, first of all we cut that DNA into smaller smaller pieces of say uh, around 2000 to, to, to 5000 kilo bases, smaller fragments. And the, all those fragments are then passed through a sequencing machine, it's a chemical reaction. DNA we have to react with the chemicals and then individual base is wrapped with the help of very high end high throughput machines and then each base pair is detected. All this DNA is then in the smaller fragments and then all those fragments are again joined together with the help of bioinformatics tools. Our first genome sequence is being used to create DNA marker for the crop that will help in identifying different varieties of the pulse. DNA markers will help in molecular breeding of Arra. Arra is an important pulse crop in the country. 85% of world's Arra is produced and consumed in India. Decoding of its genome will make it possible to develop varieties of Arra with higher productivity, disease resistance and greater ability to withstand famine. Yeah.